Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, Place of Binding of Isaac After Ruth. Plus, I apologize, we were in a little bit of a rush on the last one. It happens. This one's pretty good, A eh? 0 7P 9 vf 9 Speed is great, largely probably because of the pony. But if you're speedy, let's do it. Get on my pony. My space bars waiting. Come in, go on in. Anyone else know that song when they were growing up as the burp song because of Timbaland's production, where it goes, oh, 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 oh. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, that's one of those songs. I feel like it's actually grown in respect as time has gone on. You know, at the time, it's really hard to evaluate the legacy of a song when you're in the moment. You know, when you're listening to songs on the radio, you don't know. You usually don't know. Now, I will say, there are exceptions, you know? If you were alive and cognizant back in like 2010, 2011, you were listening to Rollin' in the Deep, and you were like, this thing's gonna be a freaking hit, dude. This is gonna be one of those timeless... I don't want to call it timeless like it's my favorite song of all time, but you get what I mean. It's one of those songs that is, like, bigger than the year in which it came out, you know? That song is, like, an enduring karaoke classic. Anyway. But sometimes you don't know. You hear, uh... Pony by Genuine on the radio in two, oh, not 2000, like 1998. And you go, I don't know, it's a catchy song, but then you hear it in 2020 and you're like, Genuine's overly testosterone soaked erotic adventure, Pony, was a watershed moment for the hip hop community, or the R&B community, where they suddenly were no longer afraid to get horny. That's how I, f there's a couple of songs from that era where I'm like, at the time, the songs kind of slapped. I mean, I was like nine years old, so I didn't know what they were talking about at all. Um, that I know of, but no, that doesn't work in that situation. Another one, and I've talked about this a lot. Too Close by Next. Baby, when we're grinding, I get so excited. Um, I try, but I can't hide it. <laughs> You're getting real close. We're dancing real close. You're making it hard for me. It's a... Look. First off, very thinly veiled Beatles style, I want to hold your hand, but only I don't just want to hold it and it's not actually your hand. You know what I mean? Little bit of innuendo in that song, but secondarily, very hooky as well. Very hooky song. I support it. Anytime I hear that on the radio in the in the modern era, I'm like, oh, this station knows what's up. No! All I had to do was follow the dang train, dude, but also press this. I literally got screwed over by my own I my own min-max potential there. I went, you know what, we'll just min-max it and pre don't press the space bar too early. You might waste uh, some utility. So basically, I'm dumb and get me out of here. I do appreciate that. That's a bummer. We did get a good item, at least, uh, from the boss, but basically I'm stupid. Well, I'm not stupid. I made a mistake. There's two different things. Yo. 25 cents. Very, very solid. That's the exact pill I was worried about. <laughs> this is the rare time, though, that it actually still provided more benefit than cost. I mean, I, I just... To be straight up with you, I really like this run. I, I really do. I think despite the loss of the deal with the devil, I'm very stoked about where we're standing right now. We don't know what this is yet, huh? I would really... I mean, I'd like bombs are key, but later, if that makes sense. PhD would be an incredible shop get for us. That that would be on the on the upper tier of shop values without a doubt. Another good uh, bombs are key impetus right there. 
You just relax, sir. Thank you. We'll get to you, sir. How am I doing? You know what? It's taken us four and a half minutes to get to the point where you asked that. I was wondering if you'd forgotten to, to question how I was doing today. I'd also wondered if you wondered what day of the week it is. Well, you, you know what Rebecca Black said. Yesterday was Thursday. Thursday. Today it is. I'm not subverting your expectations. It's Friday. We, 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 we so excited. We so excited. We're gonna have a ball today. I'm not... I know you're like, Anel, I thought you were coming to her defense on the last episode. Look, I'm coming to her defense as a human being. And I'm referencing her magnum opus. Is a timeless work that transcends the artist herself. I'm, I'm bringing it up reverentially. Okay, small rock, please. Ooh, <laughs> the squeaky wheel against the grease, boys. Didn't even ruin our deal with the devil uh, yet. This is really like, this is your dream run. You know, it's a very plebeian choice in Isaac to be like, I want brimstone, I want mom's knife. Meow mix, meow mix, please deliver. What I want instead is a run that is just slightly amazing, but stealthily so, so that I don't get judged for being stoked that it exists. <laughs> this run looks uh, decent, and that's going to make it even more decent. It looks decent, but it's not decent. It's amazing. Sure. Always... Honestly, should start here. Um, so we got. I can see forever is fine, and the perks are just there for poison. I can see forever we'll use on a future floor, because we're gonna get out of this floor asap. I mean, this has the potential to be. You know, you, you hate to see someone rewarded for, for a mistake in some situations. Not saying they should always be punished, but you know, hey. I Tripped and fell and landed on a gold bar. You know, you're like, oh, if only I tripped and fell. I've been look, I've been scanning the ground the way you're supposed to. I've never found any dang gold bars. But we could, in theory, get a deal with the devil here, and we will. And that deal with the devil could be incredible as compared to the deal with the devil. Um, we might have gotten on the last floor, though, to be honest, we'll never know. And I wouldn't know, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know if I'd say it's incredible, but it's very, very good. What's the, I guess those are two different ways to say the same thing, essentially, but anyway, we're moving on. This is wonderful. Today's a Friday, thank you for asking. Should have popped this on a different room, but that's okay. Um... It's, it's a good Friday so far. I'm recording Isaac a little earlier in the day than I normally do. Um, got a little Hitman done earlier today. Got a little Slay the Spire Gul'dan Goblet done earlier today. It's been a good... Uh, it's been a good week for content. Been productive. Very happy with where we're at. Sleeping well. I will pop Addicted. I think ad Addicted is an adequate price to pay for getting uh, that kind of... Damage done to a room. I'm feeling good. You know, we're getting to the part of the year, slowly but surely, getting to the part of the year where things are actually, you know, like planet Earth is fun to be on. <laughs> Hopefully that's relatable, because then it means at least some of the year you're stoked, you know? I apologize if you're Australian, but... Or live in the Southern Hemisphere, I should say, but... Um, you know, just because the seasons are reversed doesn't mean the weather's bad, right? Like, is... Do you... Do, does Australia get snow? You know what? That's a great question. Does Australia get snow? Does it snow in Australia? Yes, it does snow. And yes, the snow is significant. Certain Australian regions can see pretty impressive snowfalls. Okay, so they're talking about, like, alpine regions. That's not what I meant. I meant in Sydney. In Canberra. In Melbourne. I didn't mean at the, at the peak of Australia's tallest mountains, you know, in quest of Uluru. But fair enough. I, I wasn't specific. 
Now I'm being the guy I hate. Oh, you think that's bad weather? Well, <laughs> let me tell you, in my city, it snows three times a year. Cadillac Fairview doesn't want me in. It shouldn't surprise me that it snows in Australia. Because when you go to ski resorts or, you know, ski hills in Vancouver, I don't really know the difference. I guess the difference is whether or not there's hotels on site. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Don't do it. Hold on. I got to try this. This is good enough to pop right now. This is good enough to pop right now. These are not good enough to pop right now. I honestly think we just roll Black Rune for now. That's a Magic Mush guaranteed. But uh, if you go in the winter to a Vancouver ski hill, probably at least 50% of the people that work at the ski hill this is not sarcastic or exaggerating in any way, by the way. Uh, they're Australian. By the way, oh, I should have just used the Black Rune, dude. There's nothing wrong with it, of course. I'm just saying, obviously, Australians have a, uh, a propensity for winter sports. They're chasing the mountains. They're chasing the snow. Kind of an ignorant question to ask whether or not it snows. But I'll level with you. I don't know, like, a lot about Australia in general. This is not a joke. Everything I know about Australia... Um... More or less... Comes from the second season of Survivor. And I know that's just the outback. And then GeoGuessr. Anytime I'm in Australia and GeoGuessr... I'm always like, this is just... It's, it's like America and England had a child. And I want to, you know, you might take offense to that. You shouldn't, because Canada is exactly the same way. The thing is, I just can't look at it from, you know, a, an American perspective. So I, everything in my country seems completely normal. But then, you know, people who are uh, American are like, whoa, that's weird. You spell center with an R-E instead of an E-R? It's crazy, dude. I could never live like that. So, trust me, Australians, when I say we live in solidarity with one another. Which is yet another reason I should not be surprised that it snows there. No, 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 no. Drop it. You... Great defense. Great defense. I can't be mad. That's like kicking a grenade back at someone in Goldeneye. All right, I'm going to say, to be honest with you, I do regret not using the black rune there. How on earth do we have 20 keys? Uh, you know why? Because we used the two of spades. I remember now. Anyway, I'm very much looking forward to the weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do on the weekend. I'm just going to hang out, dude. Hey, can you just relax like a little? Can you just not push the bomb out of reach? It probably was out of reach anyway, but I'm going to blame you because you were there. Here's a quarter. Call someone who cares. We got to dump this uh, black rune, dude. We're doing nothing with it. Oh my god, is he okay? Humpty, look out! Bogo bombs. I'm not upset. I think it's worth it. Potato peeler. This is where you, you don't want to get too overconfident with this one. So all I'm going to do is uh, use it almost as many times as is plausible and then purchase this. And then we're going to do a quick little refresh here. We'd love to get an item on sale for half price here. Deep Pockets doesn't interest me that much. But then we will use Black Rune to suck up Potato Peeler. So did we get into spicy territory? Yeah, we got into spicy territory. Was it a good idea? No, it wasn't a good idea. Did it refresh my joie de vivre? Yes, it did refresh my joie de vivre. Thank you for asking. In such a specific tone. 
<laughs> I like to get interesting with it, in some circumstances at least. I Potato peeler is one of my favorite items to go in on. And honestly, I think if you, you know, if you've got the means, the best way to handle... Oh, that's okay. The best way to handle Potato Peeler is to use it five times. From zero cubes of meat to one level four and one level one orbital. After that, I think you get diminishing returns. And most of the time, to be fair, you're not going to be able to throw five HP at it, but we were. Sure, why not? So, obviously, HP's in a bit of a funky spot. We've gotten so much of it early on this run that it, it would not surprise me at all to get none for the rest of the run. So, it's of the utmost value. Uh, you know, we have Acid Baby. Let's just be weird with it, I guess. Strikes me as an interesting way to handle this run, you know? And I'm all about the interest factor right now. We're gonna do things in an abnormal fashion. What, I think the, you know, in anything in life, and it, it's taken me a long time to get here and I'm still puzzling this one out. As I think you're always still puzzling things out in life, you know? Without getting too philosophical. The second you get to the point where you're like, I got it figured out, that's when you don't have it figured out. You forgot one of the base conditions. Which is constantly be learning, you know? Oh my god, our speed with <laughs> our speed without the pony is 0.63? That's scary, dude. Um, but the quicker you can identify what you want and how to get it, you know, in a, in a productive and, you know, ethical fashion, the better off you're gonna be. So what does that mean, you know? In Isaac terms, what do I want? Well, I want to win. What do I need to get it? A bunch of spirit hearts. How am I going to do that? Well, I was kind of hoping the shop would meet me halfway, but apparently I'm a piece of garbage, so disregard that. Um, instead, really, I hate to say it, not taking damage is the best way to keep our HP high right now. It's. I know it sounds obvious, Sometimes that's not the sometimes the best way to keep your HP high is to, you know, use Mav the Void on rooms with a bunch of enemies. You know, sometimes it's you got 99 cents, just bust into a room and uh, you know, buy as many spirit arts as possible. Here, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, to be straight up with you. Honestly, I don't think we take it. I think we hope or bank on getting a deal with the devil in the future. Definitely none of that is even close to being worthwhile. I'm offended that some of it even exists. Yeah, this this is a... We have to take preventative measures on this one, would be my... Ye advice. To myself. Verp? I don't know what this is, but it does give us extra pills. Which is a big positive no matter what. I mean, dude, Acid Baby's been pretty solid for us. I do believe what I was saying earlier, by the way. I think it came across wrong. Or not not very elegantly is a better way to describe it. You know? Like, I've been thinking about it with respect to, you know, like, fitness. Like, do you want... If, if your goal is to get healthy, how are you going to accomplish that? I think a lot of people don't think about it. Instead, they just go... You know, they, they're like, their goal is... I want to be healthy. They, they don't clarify, like, the way to do it is to work out. I'm not saying it's a well-kept secret. I think I've actually... This is the rare clarification where my clarification, I think, was actually worse than the way I originally described it. I, in my defense, I told you I was still puzzling it out. <laughs> but I think about it with respect to, like, my job as a... Uh, that didn't work very well. My job as a streamer, YouTuber all the time, you know? What I want is to entertain people. And I think for a while I kind of... I didn't lose sight of the fact that I wanted to entertain people, but I had like... almost misled myself into believing that my job was to get out an Isaac episode, a Hitman episode, a Frostpunk episode, and a Golden Goblet episode over the course of a single day. 
Well, that is a means to the end of entertaining people. My job is not to go into the video factory and press a button and an Isaac video pops out. You know what I mean? My job is to entertain people. I know it's a subtle difference, but it's... It's a subtle difference, but a meaningful difference, you know? I've always said, and this is a quote from... Uh, an infamous world leader that I, you know, don't agree with. However, the quote is great. The quote is, quantity has a quality all of its own. A cat peed on our bed? Yeah. A whole, like, I try to find my cell phone. Yeah. And then around it was wet. Yeah. And I was like, what the? <laughs> and I smelled it, and it's definitely urine. You did, a cat peed on our bed. Unless you peed on our I did not pee on our bed. And I take offense at the idea that my urine smells like a cat's urine. You think Tomo peed on our bed? I don't know. Was it on my side? No, it's like... In the middle? Like, yeah. On the duvet. Not like... Not on the bed, like on the duvet. Very strange. It's extremely naked. I, I believe it. It sounds gross. Once I finish uh, murdering my mother in the womb here, I will take care of it. I don't know what that was, but you don't think I can do it by myself? That's it's frightening because uh, I sleep there. You think it happened recently? Like within the past within the past hour? Okay. That is, I mean, that's bad, obviously. <laughs> If it's within the past, uh, I will admit that when she said a cat peed in the bed, obviously my first thought was maybe, I mean, the, the obvious thing is the cat peed in the bed. But it did cross my mind. I was like, I've never been a bedwetter, but maybe something happened in the night and I and I had an episode or something like that but if it was in the past hour absolutely not so I just <laughs> I've already been accused of sharding at least I'm innocent of the bedwetting I've got alibis all day Tomo was it you buddy I gotta say that's pretty uncool Nobody should be peeing in our bed. That's what the kitchen sink is for. Anyway, let's move on. Honestly, I gotta level with you. It's distressing to have a cat pee in your bed. Um, but the actual cleanup itself doesn't really bother me. You know, I, I think I have like a... I wouldn't even consider it like a strong stomach necessarily, but... Can I hit you with an extremely hot take? I think people who uh, get easily grossed out, sometimes I think they just like the attention. <laughs> I know, it's. I told you it was a hot take. But you know, when people are like, Oh, cheese whiz. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like, you don't. It's just a food product. Or, you know, can you please stop saying the word moist? I'm gonna throw up, dude. I'm like, I don't, I don't believe. I don't believe you. I should believe you. It's, it's the nicer thing to do, but I don't. Now, I'm not going to take any pleasure in cleaning up the sheets here. I'll admit that without a doubt. However, at the same time, I'm like, yeah, it's a mess, you know? Whatever. It's, it's never pleasant to clean up a mess. Like, if the cat, like, throws up on the ground, I'm the, always the one that cleans it up. I don't, uh, I don't feel any, like, gross, more grossed out, I should say, by cleaning up, like, a cat's vomit on the ground than I do about, like, vacuuming. And I, that's 100% sincere. I'm just like, eh, it's, they're both the same level of, uh, 
annoyance for me. Very mild. Okay, this is- I saved HP and you burned me. You burned me. Straight up. We're gonna take it anyway, because it's gonna enable the virus to maybe be a little bit better for us in situations where we've already taken damage, but... Hmm, I'm gonna move this way. Help me. Help me. You know, I always hear it like... I think, honestly, like, my generation and onwards are a lot better about this. But I've always, you know, in media, whenever, like, you know, a 1980s or 90s movie, whenever a family's gonna have a baby, they're always, like, to the dad. They're like, are you gonna change the diapers? Like, 50% of the time, the dad's like, no way, dude, that's gross. I, like, never really... Idea of it never really bothered me. I, you know, it's not like I'm like, oh, let me change those diapers, you know? But I think the idea would not concern me that much, to be honest with you. It's just, I mean, to be honest, part of the reason why I think that I've, I got acclimated to messes is because, uh, you know, in college, taking care of your drunk friends or your drunk self from time to time. You just, you know, you learn to accept. You're like, yeah, bunch of... Orange liquids being expelled from the human body. Eh, you know. Yeah, okay. Ooh, it smells bad. Yeah, of course it smells bad. It's vomit, dude. Are you gonna help me roll this guy onto his side or not? What did you expect? He was gonna throw up and you were gonna be like, ooh. <laughs> what did he eat for lunch? Is that noodle box? That hurt me. That one, I should, I got enamored by my own joke, to be honest with you. I'm a little, I'm a little scared on this run. Our luck stat is pretty good. We should be in a good spot for the chest. And I was talking about how good the run has been. However, it has gotten a little touchier as time has gone on. We haven't grown very quickly, to be honest. Um, not very great. Not very great. Decent. Uh, that's an interesting one, for sure. Really depends on your <laughs> your perspective, I think. That's okay. So what do you do? You get in there. I actually think there's a pretty good chance we lose now. Not really because of marked, just because of everything we got going on all at the same time here. But we're gonna oh that's helpful, obviously. We're gonna try to just keep it going. In oh that hurt. In general, it shouldn't be too bad. Like, all we gotta do... Oh, no. That one hurt. All we gotta do is keep the damage on him. Don't rush me. I think definitely... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me, dude? With these champions. Come on, now. All we gotta do is, you know, use bombs whenever possible. Hope that the virus comes through in the clutch a little. Oh, my God. We're already almost dead. Thank you, thank you for this, and thank you for that. We definitely need to roll this, obviously. I'll just tell you straight up, what I was about to say was, this is a room we can't afford to take damage on. Yo, Dark Bum. <laughs> He's finally here, and about time too. He is trying to save you. Just, just keep it moving. There's a lot of stuff to manage here. There's a lot of stuff to manage. Thank you for the demon heart, sir. You are, you're too kind. You are an idiot, and by you I mean me. I'm, I'm mind flooded and overwhelmed. Okay, you cannot take damage against these guys. It is like a keto dieter at an Indian buffet. Non-negotiable. So what's your game plan here? I'm drowsy is the most beautiful thing you could ever ask for. 
and we're going to follow up the I'm Drowsy with never getting in the enemy's face at all. Fourth level me boy actually got in there. We have to move now and then just to get Rod and Baby to shoot. So just doing one of these is fine. So it seems like we're going to be completely okay. I'm honestly... <laughs> I'm both proud and embarrassed with our performance here. The chest went really, really badly for us. I'm super stoked to have uh, made it out of here relatively safely and hopefully with a little bit of pride intact. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'll see you right here. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!